Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for the purpose of RCS exam. Here the question: A 44 years old man is stabbed in the back and the left kidney in injured. A, a hematoma form, which of the following fascia structure will contain the hematoma? So here, a 44 years old man is stabbed in the back of back and left kidney is injured and hematoma form now we have to find out the fascia structure at which the hematoma form here are the options the options are welder fascia sipson fascia Bach's fascia gerotas fascia and denon villars fascia so we have to find out one of the fascia which covers the kidney so during the injury of the kidney hematoma form within this fascia Uh, so now we have to find out the fascia which covers the kidney so here we can see this is a kidney and here uh, the cortex and medulla of the kidney and the renal cell this and other structure and we can see a structure which covers the whole of the kidney so injury to the kidney uh, it will result in a hematoma formation between this fascia and the kidney like this space or here or here like this space so we have to find out the name of this fascia we can see the name of the fascia is gerotas fascia so the gerotas fascia it covers the full of the kidney so during uh, injury to the kidney it will cause bleeding and this bleeding is collected between this gerotas fascia and the Kidney. So our answer is the gerotas fascia, and we in this picture we can see this is the fascia gerota or gerotas fascia. So if any injury occurs in a kidney, the blood will accumulate in this space from here up to here. So the fascia which covers the kidney is the gerotas fascia, and any injury to kidney, bleeding or hematoma will accumulate in this area within this fascia gerota. Or gerotas fascia. So our final answer is gerotas fascia. This gerotas fascia it covers the kidney and a hematoma forms within this gerotas fascia. And at the same time, we can see some other fascia such as Waldeyer fascia. It lies posterior to the anorectum or rectum. Then Sipson fascia it covers the apex of the lungs. Then we can see this is the box fascia and box fascia it lies the around the base of the venous and zerotas fascia it is covers the kidney and denon villars fascia it lies between the rectum and prostate so denon villars fascia it lies anterior to the rectum and welder fascia it lies posterior to the rectum zerotas fascia around the kidney box fascia around the penis and sipson fascia it covers the apex of the lungs so this five fascia they are important for mrcs exam and you have to remember it very carefully to answer the question in the exam thank you all